JNU entrance examination for your geography. Now here we have 80 questions that would be part of your examination paper. Now for these 80 questions in the 2019 paper that we are about to discuss we have seen a significantly high proportion from sections on population, sections on human geography. Also you have considerable questions that were asked on various theories. For example there was a question what is Ransai's rule? It talks about settlements or it talks about climate soil. So that was a kind of question now uh, rank size rule is one of the questions that has already been asked so what comes uh, what becomes important are the similar concepts that could be asked so rather than rank size rule you could have Revenstein's migration theory that could be asked or Weber's industrial location theory then you have Crystallis central place theory so those are some of the types of questions that are asked again the heartland rimland theory from the section on uh, political geography difference between geopolitics and political geography is important but overall what we have seen is there has been a higher focus on the section on human geography population geography as such there were questions from physical geography uh, for 2019 but the relative proportion was less however we cannot predict it for 2020 you could have a significantly higher number of questions from the section on uh, physical geography as well this time now India's uh, India geography again there was not so much section that was covered but yes environment was another important section that was covered now here are some of the sample questions that you have now as you can see uh, both the questions here talk about population geography so how do we understand a population pyramid uh, how do we understand the census 2020 uh, census uh, 2010 sorry 2020 yet not done so uh, this time again livestock census has already been done so livestock census becomes important uh, concept and question for you similarly you would have a few questions that would be related directly to the authors so who gave the term biosphere then you have to go through the history of geographical thought and the basic scholars the german contribution the french contribution the arab contribution so for example here in one of the questions you had a literacy that was asked so you had questions based on arab scholars then you could have questions based on let's say the medieval scholars or the present theories which talks about the research concept of positivism post positivism so there could be changes in the questions like those but yes these are the predictable sections from where you have questions again there has been question on soil type so soil and the types of soil become an important uh, section Ravenstein law we mentioned again we have a question here so it's definitely very very important to cover similarly methods of spatial integration nearest neighbor analysis again an important topic for you to cover questions related to regional geography and regional aspects questions related to sustainable development goals millennium development goals are important then you have uh, central places uh, the authors and the books uh, this is part of your uh, history of geographical thought only so uh, you can have questions related to authors and their uh, works central place theory and the concepts related to central place theory uh, the values of three uh, k the three values and three diagrams are important similarly rank size rule we already said this was one of the questions so you could have different kind of questions that could be asked green revolution was already asked so uh, all the major revolutions mainly the white revolution and the efforts of Korean are important with this regards then agriculture is again a substantial section that could be asked since these are the topics where you have questions related to Doi's technique or questions related to crop combination crop diversification so bringing a uh, kind of applicative aspects of these questions become important then cartography and GIS techniques you could have questions which could talk about direct uh, cartographic techniques and their applications or there could be questions where you could have questions related to GIS and remote sensing that could be asked. So we have uh, certain questions and topics that we have brought for you but this is not the end in itself then you also need to focus the concepts in line with the current uh, happenings or the contemporary happenings. So oil fields, any deals with India, so Chabar port again this time becomes important for you. Similarly, how uh, the very basic questions from geography of India, why the location has shifted from north to south for sugarcane because of high sucrose content. Similarly, you can have questions how jute industries have been affected. Now again important question this time could be blue uh, polygon set 
settlements those are the settlements that could be captured from imagery and those talks about the slums and the developments of the uh, the capturing of the slums through uh, aerial photography or satellite pictures similarly you could have questions which could relate to bamboo so bamboo has now been transferred from the category of trees to grasses and therefore you have a lot of uh, cutting of bamboos that has been around and this has given a boost to the northeast region and uh, development in the northeast region has been significantly affected uh, cultural developments in geography so hans carroll theory is important we have covered that in a separate lecture Similarly, uh, geological time scale, every time you have a question, so this is something that you would have to memorize. No shortcuts for this. Uh, questions related to political geography, gerrymandering, as we said, geopolitics, difference between geopolitics and political geography, the major scholars for those. And then geopolitics of climate change, geopolitics of oil, we have covered in one of our lectures. So that's a very, very important and a burning topic and therefore is uh, must to be covered. Then we have certain sections from the basics of physical geography the questions from the physical geography were very very direct simple so you have questions related to slope development uh, Davis theory was asked so Pang's theory or King's theory become important this time similarly you have the various uh, landforms that are important so landforms from glacial origin fluvial origin aeolian origins are important uh, then weathering and erosion the types of weathering types of erosion becomes important question Coriolis effect has been asked now what is important is El Nino and La Nina this time so El Nino La Nina again covered in a separate lecture so go through that very very important most of the questions from this section could be probably part of your uh, paper again you can have questions which are related to uh, the sections which focus on the very basics of uh, the petty planes and penny planes the difference between the terms who gave these terms then coming on to oceanography oceanography corals become a very very important topic impact on coral because of the tourism and how coral bleaching has been taken place sixth mass extinction is again a important topic a burning topic discovery of new zealandia uh, again this is considered as a separate continent and it's most of it has been submerged so again important from contemporary point of view Coming on to the ecosystem section, so environment and ecosystem Kigali and, uh, amendment had been important recently. Carbon neutrality, carbon sequestration is important. So carbon trading, carbon sequestration, environmental issues. We have covered a class on 33 environmental conventions, which is important. Archie's biodiversity targets this time are important. Similarly, there was a recent conference of uh, migratory birds. So that again becomes important. So flora and fauna becomes important but as you have seen a very high emphasis was there on population studies so again we have certain questions from population and settlement geography so those topics become important then you need to know the census definition census definitions for a city for a town or a municipality the containment area so how do we define those under census so census and the terms being used in census are very very important similarly the crude birth rate the effective literacy rate are some of the terms that could be directly asked so what is the definition for a literacy rate how this definition has changed over the years from five years to seven years and uh, then you have the infant mortality rate the crude birth rate the crude death rate so that becomes important questions the role of women and gender geography again is important across various uh, fields that we have seen. Those would be uh, giving you a good insight about the kind of questions and then from the basics of uh, statistics you could have a simple uh, question really regarding let's say here is a question on correlation the values should range from minus one to plus one and that's a kind of very simple question where you are talking about how the correlation varies negatively correlated positively correlated or if it is zero there is no correlation so a kind of very very simple question similarly the strength or the correlation between the variables is given and how do you understand these or how do you uh, interpret these so let's say if it is minus that means 
means if one is increasing the other is ought to decrease if it is positive then both of them would increase but if it is positive 8 0.8 let's say that means there is a very strong correlation and there is higher uh, rate of increase that would be seen Koppen's classification Trivartha's classification for climate are again something that you would have to memorize and could be directly asked from India geography the region and the production centers so what thing could be found where now this could be in the form of agriculture this could be mining this could be industrial establishment also you would have questions which would pertain to uh, the basic political structure and this time Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh become important we have covered separate lectures on those so that must be covered very very important for this time then there are questions related to simple concepts of uh, basics of economic geography what is GNP what is GDP NNP NDP so those are basic terms that you must know similarly what is HDI uh, so those are the basic terminologies you must be very very familiar with and then definitely as we have been understanding the overall uh, uh, level of the paper we would say is not that difficult if you have been going through the concepts and syllabus carefully the things could turn out very very smooth for you so wish you good luck and if you have any queries any doubts feel free to contact us have a wonderful day ahead